got to measure it on the frequency of making sure it can reduce the occurrences that they actually happen. This is very intellectual that I'm saying. I graduated early, so don't think I'm not following. I can't change you, I can't force you, and I'm damn sure not going to mother you. All I can do is worry about my growth. And I don't care if you get mad or not. When I proposed to Drew, she felt like a queen. Thank you, baby, this is so romantic. I wanted to give her that same environment on the rooftop at my boy's shop to make sure that my wife knows that no woman can ever come close to her. Yeah. <clears throat> this is really amazing. Like, how many dozens of roses? This is a lot of roses. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why? Where's all this coming from? Sometimes I can be an asshole. I get it. But, but the thing about it is, you know, I love you. And I want to be the best husband, the best father, the best provider. This right here, this is like, this is what I live for. Because you do go out of your way to make me feel like the most important thing in the world. So I love you. I just want to make sure that we don't have these really, really high highs and we go through those lows. I would prefer to probably use this night as an opportunity just to enjoy each other's company, and we can leave everything else for marriage counseling. OK. So you don't feel like we should be able to, like, communicate? I, I set this up with no expectations. Oh. If, you, if you value this, it's fantastic. If you don't, fantastic, you know? I value it. You have made me feel special. This shows me, like, we can make it. This shows you? Give me your hand. Maybe I need to hold your hand when no, I say no, this. No, no, no. Just talk. Where's the wine? I need some wine, please. Oh, there it is. Oh, right on time, honey. Some wine for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to schedule a session for you to go and speak to Dr. Ken on, like, how to speak to men appropriately to get whatever you're trying to do across effectively. Yes, and then I will pay for you to have a session, too, to learn how to talk to women. <laughs> Cheers. Dr. Ken said that you, like, do, like, zingers and, oh, like, Oh, we're talking to... about what Dr. Ken said? I mean, that's what Dr. Dr. Ken, Ken said. Dr. Ken called you a maniac. A maniac? Do you know what the definition of a maniac is? Nobody that's a maniac is this successful. Have you looked at my wall? I got degrees on my wall. Go and take a look at the word maniac. No, I love a good Google. A person exhibiting extreme symptoms of wild behavior, a homicidal maniac. The marriage council just uses extreme words, and it's something that people on the East Coast do, oh, and they East have Coast a tendency. Thing. But for you to go and try to repeat what he says, you repeated what he no, said no, about no, 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 no. you. You have a maniac hold tendencies. Hold okay, on maybe a let me say hold that. On, hold on a no, let no, no, me no, no, take. No, no, let no, me no, say no, maniac. Don't touch me. Why are you getting mad at me for that? I'm just because you don't even understand what maniac even means. It means somebody that's truly unstable. I apologize. I'm sorry. You said something he said about me. You're, you're, I said something he said about you're, you. You're not, you're not really sorry. I either. really am sorry. But I'm just making sure that we're both here and understanding that we both have work to do. Not how about you just there. try to have a good night? How about So then that means that? me not express myself? If me expressing myself means we have a bad night, what the hell are we doing? You ready for dessert? Oh, date night is very needed. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, Ralph and I have not been keeping up with our weekly date nights that Dr. Ken suggested. If I get a strike, you gotta call me daddy. Okay, all okay, right? deal. Uh, yeah. I'm still just looking to make sure that I am doing all the things necessary and right to make this marriage work. Cheers. Hey, cheers babe. to a date night, yes. finally being able to just unwind, take some time to ourselves. Yes. Amen. Cheers. Like, I've got the most happening with my family, and then I've got the most happening with work, with the music, because when are we finishing the EP? The movie with Todd and Candy, we finally closed the deal today. And then everything that's going on with Allison being here, I want to support her in this whole mental health event. I'm realizing I need this mental health retreat just as much, you know, as I thought I was doing it for everyone else. Are you okay, though? Do you think that you're in a stable state? I mean, you see state? me. I feel like sometimes I have a breakdown. Sometimes I need a hug. Sometimes I need to just talk. Um, we started marriage counseling together, but then out of nowhere, you just stopped. 
Ralph had an issue when Dr. Ken was holding him accountable for his bad behavior. I have chosen to stay in counseling and continue my old growth because I noticed that I need to gain more independence in this relationship and not be afraid to speak up for how I'm feeling. I don't wanna like put more pressure on you. This is going deep. One of the things that I even feel with marriage counseling is it's just a difference in experience in general, I think. Sometimes you get to a certain point where you need to really like focus on the actual work and you need to start applying it. And I feel like sometimes with counseling, it's just, all right, this topic, now this topic, now you got this issue, but that's gonna get us divorced. Hey, honey. Hi, Hi, Thank you for having me. What's up? So, what up? A... Okay, oh. she's drinking, but looks clear oh, like hey, water. Hey, bro. What's happening? Oh, Good to see you. Oh, Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. My husband's here. Is Ralph having some kind of mental breakdown because does he not see his wife there? Hey, husband. Oh, you just? Yeah, he just got here. I've been here. Oh. Ralph literally went around the room and hugged everyone except for her. We gotta go and turn up. We do. We will. Waiting for a hug, I haven't seen him. He's been out all day. After date night, Ralph has been distant, but him showing late and then him acknowledging everyone else but me, it's embarrassing. This is typical Ralph when he feels disrespected. Instead of speaking his mind and saying how he feels, he is being so cold. When I got home last night, you were asleep, and then when I woke up, you were gone. It ain't nothing out at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> but the street walkers, right? <laughs> and the people making movies, you know? It just makes me so happy, I'm so passionate about it. You know, breaking down the scenes, creating this character, Nina. Like, I love her. Nina. And I've been finding, like, moments of truth inside of me to connect with. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm like, this is really close to, like, who I am, for real. Like, she's a wife, she's submissive, she's... A lesbian? So... <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what she is, backdrop. though. I definitely respect Drew as a thespian. But when my wife is on set working, it just becomes a little chaotic. I have to still go and pick up the slack around the household. No, no, that's the backdrop to her character. See, that's all you care about. Like, did you kiss the girl yet? Did you kiss her? It's so much more. She's a wife first. I don't want to know. The people got questions, including myself. What questions? Myself. Well, what questions? Did you kiss her? I mean. So you gave her some tongue? I'm just. I, just I mean, how know. would you feel if I said I did give her some tongue? Really? This is work, you know? This is professional. I just want to see it. I want to watch. I am creeped out. Like, because it was a girl on girl, he's being extra Ralph. He thinks that it's just all fun and games. He's ready to kick it, turn up, make his jokes. And I just wish he would respect and take seriously, like, what I do as an actress. She was munching. Wow. OK. Did you have an orgasm? I don't like it. I, I'm just ready for him to leave so we can get back to our day and push through and get through all of our scenes. Babe. I'm in the movie. Seriously? In the movie, I mean, I'm saying. Uh, this is the first scene you've asked me about the whole time I've been shooting this. I'm so happy you weren't on set. Look, if I don't rock with somebody, you don't rock with somebody. If you don't rock with somebody, I don't rock with somebody. That's like just marriage one-on-one. -on -one. There's, there's a real right. reason to not rock with somebody. Okay, her calling me a bitch and then lying about it is okay with you? Ralph said, your feelings. My definite struggle is me not being able to share my feelings and feel valued and feel heard. Let's just not talk about this anymore. I'll talk to you. That's talk just to... not the response I would expect from my oh, husband. So Kenya, Marlo, Ralph, I'm done. and Candy Ralph, called you please, a bitch. Please, what please do you stop. want me to do? Attack them and say, don't call my wife a bee. Some you're, things you're, is you're, really you're, not you're worth yourself. it. Okay. What in the motherfucking world? You okay? <sighs> what? Nothing. Girl. Hmm. You good? I'm so tired. I'm like, I don't even have the energy for this. So That's remember when Courtney at that. the retreat says she doesn't use that language? Oh, yeah. She says oh, she right. um, doesn't use, use the word bitch. Oh, OK. She looked me right in my face and says she never said it. Well, Allison, you've called Drew a bitch before. So I mean, listen, every, it happens. Let okay, me help you. Not... If she called her a banana, she don't like it. How about that? So if it's something that bothers her, that's all you start with. That's it, Ralph. Allison, I got this. Trust okay. me, trust me, please. Then I got get this. It. And I, and I already Because you just it. brought me into it. No, I was sitting no, no, here no. washing dishes. You, you didn't know? have to say that. And you so say Drew, stuff. Like I said. Okay, I'm going to You're missing the, the whole point. Can we take my mic off, please? Thanks. 
Why are you crying? Oh, I can't believe you. You would just embarrass me like that. That was necessary. You didn't have to say nothing. You know I'm tired. You know I'm working. What is wrong with you? Why can't you understand if she's Why are you doing this? Come on, just do that, that wasn't really Bro, stop. Just stop. I had such a good day. Like, it's such a positive energy. Oh. We're not even sharing the same space. So very disconnected. One thing that I've learned about the two of you is you absolutely love one another. What's unfortunate, though, is at this point, you're just really disconnected. Yeah, me moving out of the bedroom is me actually getting to a place where I'm comfortable. How does that feel? Alone. I think he's happy. Liberating. Him moving out of the room, yeah. he never, ever discussed with me. So it seems irresponsible <laughs> to me to just make such a big change, because even the kids have noticed, like, why is dad sleeping in the other room? That's a lie. No, actually, that happened. JoJo texted me. I don't have to lie. You want to use that narrative, and that's not actually the truth. But Drew... So JoJo did. He said, I think dad is sleeping in the guest room for some reason. He said, Makai and I are both mad because he wouldn't let them sleep with him. And I said, oh, it's all good. Daddy's sleeping in there because I'm getting home so late and he has work in the morning. And I usually wake him up. Everything will be back to normal after I wrap this movie, baby. So I'm not lying. It's not and a so but it's not it a is concern. a big you just change. Created that. Honestly, things are just not getting better. I lost my voice in the marriage, and I allow things that no woman should ever allow. I mean, I allowed him having inappropriate relationships with women. I allowed Tampa. So I asked you for the divorce. We ended up getting into an, uh, a pretty big argument, and that's when I said, you know, um, that I wanted to file for divorce. And what was the argument about? Uh, let me get my lawyer. Am I okay to actually talking about, like, what happened? No. Okay, got it. What happened that day? What made you file that day? I'm gonna call my lawyer, hold <laughs> In her filing, she's saying that there was some type of infidelity. We're, we're going to be responding to that in our pleading. But, uh, yeah. Did he ever come back to your room? I came back after the movie. No. What do you think your life is going to look like without Ralph? I can't do this. It's too, it's too new, you know? Okay, let's take a break.